All right, I really got to stick to ignoring this uh, hollow, soulless, searching any and everywhere from for some form of life, dry, zombie-ass motherfucker. But uh, I don't know, I keep, I keep clicking on one. He's done, as I understand, like uh, 20 million videos in the last like 12 hours, a live stream or four. Um, I haven't checked it. I do want to address a couple things. A couple things you could just tell by the title. Now, he's talking about the new song, I Dared F You To, or I'm so biting off his title. I was trying to, I was going to ignore your ass. I don't really give a fuck what you're saying. There is no battle. The battle is and always been in your mind. This idea that I'm fiending to have a battle with you is and always was in your mind for the 80 trillionth time. All those songs that I did to you was in response to you, usually on a live stream or whatever, talking your shit about me. That was my roast. My roast to you? was a song back to you. You feel me? I know you're slow. It wasn't about, oh, I'm picking at you so we can battle. Da, 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 da. Just like the other guy, the um, the other motherfucker, whatever. Oh, he wants me to do a song. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about y'all niggas doing songs to me. This is just my creative thing. I rap about any and everything. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm throwing a song at you, it doesn't mean I'm poking you with a stick trying to get you to throw a song back at me. I really, truly don't give a fuck. The reason why I did this song here, this FU2, the reason I called it FU2 is really because of the beat. You know, shout out to NSLN, like the, the, the shit was hot. I even told him when he sent me the beat, I was like, yo, I'm trying to kind of leave this dissing shit alone. You know, and just get back to strictly music that's, you know, more palatable for the wide world or whatever. But uh, the shit was so fire and it kind of fit like a glove. So I said, all right, fuck it. And even still, the nigga saying, oh, the beat is other songs about YouTube. I purposely didn't, I mean, it's obvious, I purposely didn't mention your name because I'm making it palatable for the world as close as possible. That's why it's on my main channel. You're a nobody. I would usually put you on the secondary channel if the shit was like direct shots at you. But a combination of because I'm not mentioning your name and because it's over a, a, a dope beat that somebody hit me with, I said, word, now this is a premium song. It, it, it fits the markers and the trappings of a premium song, so I'm putting it on the main channel. You know what I'm saying? But I don't give a fuck about a battle and this whole shit, I owe you, I owe you. No, there was never any, uh, you said, oh, I battle for money, I battle for money. All this shit is in your mind. I owe you money. Three songs, I owe you money. A, even though I said I beat you 26 to 1, that was more to fuel the dope-ass punchline that I was setting up for. But, truth be told, maybe 27 to 0, you never beat me at all, as far as I'm concerned. Nothing was put up to a vote. Anytime you do a song, it's, oh, you, you throw it in front of your dick suckers, and then they endorse it. When I tried to put the song that you claim is dope, that vengeance shit, I mean, it was okay, but eh. when I try to put that up against one of my songs, I did a video, and I asked the people to decide which one they like. You got heated. You didn't like that. See, anytime something gets close to a real competition, you cower. You back down. If it's not in front of your dick suckers, if it's not within arm's reach of your own ego satiation, you don't want to have anything to do with it. You could never be me last night. Um, having taken a uh, song contest loss to Rio James or anybody, it's not about who it is or anybody. That would be like the worst thing in the world for you. You feel me? I'm just there like, yo, I'm here to have fun. It was cool. It was dope. What happened to me, not to say that oh, it was like a big battering that happened to me. You know, it was a nice, cool little contest or whatever. But what happened, that is the reason why you would not enter contests. Because you don't want that to happen to you. Because you don't, your, your ego can't help it. Your fragile feelings can't help it. You have a crew of people that do songs and do music. You shout them out all the time or whatever. You never do any music with any of them. You don't want to be the person that does not shine the most. If you and Newt Bangham do a song, he's not going to admit it. Of course, he's a top tier dick sucker. I see him sucking dick and talking shit about me and all that other dumb shit. That dick sucker, he will never admit this. But if you and him did a song and he sounded better than you, that would have you all fucked up. That's why you will not do a song with Newt Bangham. That's why you not do a song with whoever the fuck else. Your ego is very fragile. You're a puny. You're a pussy. And I saw the title. You said, oh, Tony Imbecile because da da da. The shit I emailed you about. <clears throat> Let, let's backtrack. 
You're the one that claims you got goons in New York and all that other stupid shit. So when you come emailing me some old next level shit, I'll kill you this and that. In New York, get you knocked off and all that dumb shit. Of course, I'm going to refer back to that bullshit you were talking about having goons or whatever. So, yeah, I said, yo, go to 103rd, wherever your bum ass was. When you were sleeping on the benches on 103rd, if we talk about 170 something, if we talk about somewhere in Jersey, the sty, uh, uh, Johnson, where G was at that little time, wherever the fuck. It doesn't matter. Any, you could pick a spot. Fuck showing a thing on the phone you pick a spot where your people are i will print flyers up that say styles is pussy with your face on it and post them shits tape them shits to any building to any lamp post or wherever of your choosing in new york and i dare you to even at least uh have someone give an account of what i was wearing that day you're a liar you you're, you're fronting you don't have any people ain't no way that anybody's gonna Fuck with your silly, goofy, retarded, corny ass and do anything for you. Yo, this guy be talking shit to me online. Can you bump him? No. You're a fucking idiot. You're a huge ass liar and you're a shithead. So yeah, I'll print up Styles' pussy flyers and post them shits anywhere. You pick the spot. I dare someone to step to me and even, even breathe something in my way. Have somebody drive by in the car bumping one of your corny ass songs. Anything. It ain't going to happen. You don't got anybody. And you ain't going to do shit yourself. Oh, I believe what happened to Cliff. The Cl I don't give a fuck about the Cliff shit. I'm not one of these people that defer to another nigger and use that as a gauge of how it is with you. You could have fucked Cliff all the way the fuck up. I'll still fuck you all the way the fuck up. It ain't about, oh, yo, 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 you holler back and you talk tough shit. No, you're always the one that talks the tough shit. I dare you to get on some shit with me. You're a jealous fucking shithead. You ain't going to talk to me any old kind of way and I'm just going to chill. No, I will fuck your pussy ass up. It's straight like that, faggot. Hmm. I think it was something else I wanted to say. I don't know. I, I cover everything as well. I like to take notes. Give me a motherfucking minute. Um, music, the stupid shit you talking about, the music. Uh, I don't know. Fuck it. I remember what I wanted to say. Yo, dude, man, you are sick as far as with your obsession of another man. That right there is um, just shows you as just... Uh, I don't know, a lesser being. You're not even worthy of being a man. You defer and it's like you submit. Look, yo, you were fucking bugged out when I caught you taking shots at me with the claim that I was taking shots at you. Who's a first, Who do you bring up? Oh, I didn't even know that bum, the L.A. guy I was going to rah, 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 rah. I didn't, I, I didn't even know that the nigga even mentioned anything like that. I caught the shit from you, dude. I learned it by watching you. Like, yo, you are crazy. And now this, I do a song. Me, the one who experiences your jealousy, who could feel it just popping up out of your pores and trying to uh, get up, up on me. I could hear it in your voice. I could just feel it in your very lack of essence, your essence or lack thereof. Yet, when I speak on it, when I speak on that bullshit you're on, you say that L.A. said that and... I'm getting that from L.A. So me, the one that is experiencing, experiencing it, I'm speaking on it, not based on actual experience. I'm speaking on it based on someone else saying it. No, that dude is in your mind all day long. No, L.A. is the one that you wanted to give a car to. He's the one that you call 80 trillion thousand times every every uh, point four of a second. You always bring that dude up. This shit ain't got... I wasn't thinking about... I don't know what the fuck that... Well, I have heard him mention your jealousy too, sure. But, I mean, when he mentioned it, it already rang true to me. I'm the one experiencing it. So how the fuck... How the, why the fuck would I think that it's coming... You are bugged out, B. You are sick. You are just... Yeah, you, you're not a man. A, a man wouldn't do that. A whole nother male figure, another human being, you're going to defer to them and care what they think and all that. Like, you are really bugged the fuck out.